What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So we're on day two, and uh, we, I keep getting a lot of questions about tempering, the re-rolling, how many you get, etc. as you're leveling up through the um, through Diablo 4 Season 4, whether you're in World Tier 2, 3, 4, etc. right? So I'm going to go over and explain tempering and uh, re-rolling, and just kind of hopefully this will answer a lot of questions for a lot of people. So uh, we have our dagger here. Um, we are going to temper. And then we also have a sacred weapon here or item here to showcase tempering on here as well. So you're going to go over to your blacksmith, go over to tempering, sacred items. All right. So with each tempering, each item can be tempered with a free temper. So sacred items get one select recipe category. You get one of one, which is free. If you have ancestral items, you get two free ones. And then below is all the different categories that is available to the item you're trying to temper. So let's go look at sacred item. So sacred, we already used our one, which is resource. Okay. And on the item, we got resource generation. So when you temper for the very first time, it is free. It doesn't cost anything. So then if we come in here, right? So I've only tempered once for free and a sacred item can re be re-rolled three times for free. The only thing that it is going to cost when I move my camera here for you guys is the items below, which you see here, which is going to be four um, veiled crystals, which amazing by the devs. We got so many of these now and then iron chunks. OK, and you can reroll these the number of times that you have temporary rolls, which is three. Now, when you do reroll on worldly stability for the item, it's going to be one of the selected choices at random. So we have three different options here. It will be one at random to re-roll. So you can do this as many times as you want. Now, when you get up to sacred items, um, oops, let me go, that's weird. Okay. When you get up to sacred items, you get two free ones, and then the re-rolls are going to be five. So what we wanna do is we're gonna go over here to weapons. Okay, really what I'm looking for on my weapons is like we want we definitely want the chance for frozen orb to be cast twice that's what we're looking for so we're going to go to uh frost augments here um and we get one of two she how says one of two and then we're going to temper with our costs so then as you can see we got chance for ice shards it's like crap i don't want ice shards i want frozen orb but that's one of our two free ones so you can see that if we went to go re-roll this on frost it's going to go down to five ancestral items get five re-rolls and we're just going to keep re-rolling this but you'll notice we still have one extra free slot which is our offensive okay we really want to get rid of this okay we want this and again we're going to want cold damage the damage over here is really good too but we want cold damage so let's go ahead and temper for free boom we got blizzard damage so i don't want either one of these on this weapon now i want to re-roll but i only have five so the biggest one that i really want is i want a frozen orb to be cast twice so we're going to re-roll and let's hope that we get it we got frost bolt being cast twice again so you notice if i go here again on frost i got four re-rolls left we got frozen orb almost a max roll not really but now we got frozen orb on here streamer luck now I could keep re-rolling this under frost. I got three re-rolls, but even though it's a 14% out of 17 and a half, I'm happy with the roll because I got the power. Now we need to get rid of the blizzard damage because I, I don't use blizzard, right? So we're going to go to offensive. We're going to go over to frost. I'm looking for cold damage. So let's go ahead and roll. Boom. Cold damage, streamer luck, and we got almost a max roll at 53% out of 55 so this is just exactly how tempering works the weapon is all done now boom we're done now the last thing is re-rolling so when you come over here to re-roll at the occultist at enchant an item or enchanting as it's called this hasn't changed from last season right so you can still select something and then come up here to view the possible affixes we are not a damage over time build. We're playing frozen orb. So damage over time doesn't really help us. So we are looking for, ideally we would like attack speed, but in these um, available possible affixes, damage, critical strike damage, or vulnerable damage are all very good. Even the primary resource is okay. 
Again, you're going to have your costs, and then you're just enchant here. So we're just going to go ahead and pop this. Boom. Damage over time. Life on hit. I want no change. Re Reroll again. We got critical strike damage. So this is nice. This is really good. A decent roll. Um, so this is a solid weapon, right? So we're going to put this in here, and we're just going to end up putting Storm Swell on here because now we're going to go over to Imprint. And all of our powers that are in here are just lovely. So we're going to go to Storm Swell because now we can search, which is fantastic. And now we're going to put Storm Swell on here because that's what was on this uh, before. Enchant for 415,000. And boom, we just tempered, enchanted, and Codex of Power imprinted on an item from start to finish, guys. This is how it's done. I really do hope that this video has helped you. I know it can be a little confusing with the number of rerolls and just how many times you can actually temper. But again, you get two free ones and then you get a number of rerolls. Ancestrials get five. Sacred items get three. Yellow items, I think you still get three. I don't know. I'd have to check on a yellow item. I'm not exactly sure on a yellow. But... You can still temper on a yellow and re-roll. I think it's three to match. I think that's default by three. Um, you know what? We got a yellow right here. So let's go. Uh, hold on. We got to unselect the boom. Let's go back. We got a yellow. We get two free ones. Let's just go. We're not going to keep this item. Let's just go put something on just for the sake of it. Let's just see how many you actually get. So actually, so it's the same. So it's just by the sacred or ancestral. That's a good answer. I figured that out now that I know that. So it's just based on the type of item that it is. So ancestral, regular, or sacred. And then you get the number of rerolls that correspond with that. So that's really nice to know. But yeah, guys, that is how you temper and enchant and go ahead and add the code codex if you had any questions or concerns about that. So hopefully this answers the questions. But still, again, community if you guys still have more questions feel free to ask definitely come in here let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about this okay make sure to like the video let's get this over 50 likes and don't forget to subscribe guys and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace